the A350 freighter versus triple seven freighter. Before I start, be sure to subscribe to One Sky Fly if you are new here for more weekly aviation content on the way. So the A350 freighter was really designed to go up against the triple seven freighter, but to also replace aging 747-400 freighters with almost similar performances. It is Airbus's hope of breaking into the freighter market. All footage is of similar aircraft types since the A350 freighter has yet to enter service. Starting with performance, the A350 freighter carries 109 tons of payload to up to 4,700 nautical miles. The 777 freighter carries 102 tons of payload up to 4,970 nautical miles. So despite the efficiency gains and Airbus marketing talk, the good old 777 can still keep up in performance. The A350 freighter does however have more internal cargo volume at around 570 plus cubic meters on the main deck or nearly 11% more volume than the 518.2 cubic meter main deck of the 777 freighter. This is thanks to a longer fuselage than the 777 freighter by nearly 7 meters since the A350 freighter is more of a shrink of the larger Dash 1000 by 4 fuselage frames and is longer than the regular Dash 900. This all translates into the A350 freighter carrying 30 96 by 125 inch pallets on the main deck and 12 on the lower deck, while the 777 freighter carries 27 of the same pallets on the main deck and 10 on the lower deck with some leftover cargo space for uncontainerized cargo. So there's no doubt the A350 freighter is more practical. Not only that, but it burns around 25% less fuel per trip and thanks to 7 tons more cargo, 32% less fuel per tonne of cargo. This is thanks in part to the new Rolls-Royce Trent XWB97 engines, which is around 8-10% to more fuel efficient. Each engine produces up to 97,000 pounds of thrust. In terms of outright power though, the G90-115B still produces more thrust at up to 115,000 pounds. Besides, the A350 freighter is the only next-generation freighter based off carbon composite fuselage materials and wings plus the new systems, meaning it is the only freighter capable of being delivered beyond 2028 due to the new ICAO emission standards. This makes the A350 freighter future-proof. However, this all comes at a cost. A higher lift price, higher maintenance costs for the new carbon composite materials and newer systems, and airlines can only get their A350 freighter from 2025 onwards. A new built 777 freighter today is cheaper to buy and maintain, shares commonality with the 215 777 freighters already in service, and is likely to be more reliable. That's it, it does burn more fuel and long term, the A350 freighter is undoubtedly the longer term solution. The A350 freighter really delivers in terms of fuel efficiency, more so than performance, with the 777 freighter still being compelling today, especially given its high performance and good prices. One team, one aviation, one skyhead.